Hey guys, so it's Monday today um, and the start of my what I wore in a week video. So today has been a very kind of admin -y day. I've basically been at home for pretty much the whole the whole entire time and I've been filming, I've edited a video and just sort of sat at my desk most of the time. So I've got a very basic, what is literally just a jeans and t-shirt outfit. Um, I've just thrown on this blazer as well because it's a bit chilly. And I'm gonna go out so I've got some shoes on now too. So the blazer I'm wearing is one of my favourite things in my wardrobe. It's from Arquette and it's their oversized uh, wool blazer. It is quite oversized on me and I still only bought this in my kind of regular size. I had this in a 12 so they do make them to be oversized. You don't have to size up to get that really nice uh, fit. The shoulders drop down quite a lot too which I think is kind of cool. And I usually uh, wear this with the sleeves rolled up but it's not the easiest thing to do when you're holding a camera. So yes, my Arquette blazer on. I think having a black staple oversized blazer is such a great thing in your wardrobe because it can be thrown over everything and it, it kind of just transforms an outfit so love this so much. I've got a pair of white jeans on, these have become my everyday jeans, I just absolutely adore them. They are from weekday and they're the row jeans and they're such a cool fit, I really like that they're high waisted um, and they're also quite straight legged. But at the same time, they're quite long too. They have this nice length where they just finish at the ankle, just the top of the ankle. And I like that kind of quite awkward fit. I think that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, I have these in an off-white colour. They are so comfortable. I have them in a few um, different washes, but the white for me is definitely um, the colour that I reach for the most. Take off this blazer rather awkwardly while I'm still talking to you. This is a little uh, racer vest. This is actually from... Top shop. you can see where I've been leaning <laughs> over all day at my desk and my jeans have been cutting in, although they are quite roomy so I'm not sure why they've done that. But yes, I've been really into this style, a vest top, this racer, which I actually think is quite flattering. Something about the way this cuts in a little bit further over than a normal vest top would, I just really like. I think it does suit quite a lot of body shapes. Me being slightly on the fuller chested side, I thought it would be way too much, but I kind of like it. I think it works. So yeah, these little um, high neck racer vests have been kind of a staple in my wardrobe. They're great for layering too, so they're gonna transition well into the next season. Um, this one is just a black ribbed top, and the thing I like about this one in particular, which is from Topshop, I'm not sure if I said that, this has lycra in it, which just kind of keeps its shape better. It stops it kind of um, getting too baggy, it stops it being a bit misshaped, so it just sort of holds everything together. I would like it if this one was slightly on the longer side. I think it's just a bit too cropped to be tucking into jeans. I don't hate this look. I don't mind the little kind of crop top. I think it's kind of nice sometimes to break up that line with a little bit of skin showing. But for me, I would just like it a little bit longer so I have the option to tuck it in. Other than that, 10 out of 10 uh, for this little thing. And then my shoes are from Vince. I have so much love for these sandals. I don't think I've worn basically any other sandal as much as I've worn these throughout summer. And I think these very chunky dad style sandals are gonna be something we can take through to autumn as well. Um, if you're gonna wear something that's not a boot or a trainer, I think these and the thick straps of them kind of would work quite well with um, oversized knits and more autumnal appropriate things. I've got quite a lot of jewelry on, so I'll just run through it quickly. It'll probably be the same for most of the week, uh, particularly these earrings. So these little hoops are from Topshop. They have this amazing little star detail on them which is probably really hard for you guys to see but they have little stones set into them which actually look like stars i think these are a really great size hoop they're just the right thickness and they're not too big not too small so i love those and then i have these which are basically a permanent fixture in my ears now these are from Muriel tash they are very pricey sickeningly so um but they don't come out i've had these in my ears for about two months now and that is where they will stay. So they're just the plain gold hoops. And this one's actually not piercing. This is an ear cuff which is from Shashi. I think that's how you say it. It's a brand on ASOS. And yeah, I've just clipped it into my ear there. One day maybe I'll get that piercing, but for now, if I have the option of faking it, I'm gonna take that. And then my necklace is this one is from Penelope Corridan. Um, I really love this thick snake chain at the moment. It's kind of quite blingy. I really really like that. Um, and I've just laid it up with this Carrie Elizabeth necklace which is a lot more on the dainty side. I think they work together quite well. This is the little Aztec uh, diamond necklace and it's very very sweet. This Topshop knot ring, uh, my Masoma green signet which I adore. 
I love this ring so much. And then I have a few ASOS rings stacked up. And on this hand, I'm wearing my vintage little diamond band ring. Um, and then I have this big, fat, amazing thing, which is from Daphne. It's called the Ollie ring. I actually have two of these, and I really love to stack them up. But I'm just wearing one for now. Uh, so, yeah, I think that is all the jewellery I'm wearing. Oh, this side, one last earring. This tiny little uh, one here, which is also from Maria Tash. And that one stays in my ear. Rain or shine, all day, every day as well. So, that is my outfit today. Very easy, simple, me kind of uniform at the moment, which I have no problems with at all. So, that is today, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. So, it's Tuesday today. Um, hi guys, hi from me and my bandaged thumb, courtesy of me being incredibly accident prone, especially in the mornings. I, uh, my plans for today are, I'm gonna go, I have a few errands to do, but I'm gonna go and work from a coffee shop and do some emails. I find the easiest way to crack out my emails and sit down and do very mundane admin -y tasks is to sit in a coffee shop and be that person. So that's my plan for today. And I, I just kind of wanted to throw on something quite comfy and easy to wear. So um, I have a big linen shirt. I've been so loving linen shirts. I think they are beyond appropriate for summer. I mean, linen is the best easy breezy <laughs> type of um, fabric that you can wear really it's, it's so great no matter the piece of clothing that it's made out of linen shirts especially kind of oversized ones like this perfection so uh this is a white linen shirt which again i think is staple status <laughs> this one is from uniqlo and it's just a really simple button down it's quite long quite glowy oversized i have the sleeves rolled up here i'm pretty sure they do this in an absolute sea of colors um beware with linen it will get creased i have actually ironed or steamed this shirt and still here we are but i kind of i think that adds to the charm of it all so um yeah linen shirt from uniqlo and then because it's not the warmest day today i've also just thrown on um another this is actually a uniqlo piece as well this is just a really thin merino wool knit um just around my shoulders which surprisingly adds quite a lot of warmth it, it really pulls the heat in and i have that option there if i want to throw it on on top of this just to add an extra layer because we're all about layering at the moment now that it's chilly and then i just wanted to go for some comfy like slack style trousers these ones are from a brand called y a yes or yes which uh, you can find on asos they're really nicely um, kind of comfy tailored trouser. They're a little bit shorter than I'd like them to be. I'd maybe prefer them to go slightly longer. So I had the option to turn them up if I if I wanted something more ankle height. But they are so comfy. They're made of this kind of stretchy. I feel like it's got maybe a little bit of an elastin percentage in here. Tight material, which just really makes them quite easy to wear. They're not too constricting. They're not too um, starchy or cottony feeling. They really stretch and bend and, and wear well. So I like these a lot. They're very nice casual kind of chino-y trousers. These are from Veja. I think it's Veja, Veja. I want to say Veja, but I know that's not right. Um, but they're a really great brand who have a lot of sustainable sourcing. They're from um, organic materials, uh, fair trade resources. They're, they're a brand with a really good uh, ethos behind them and good ethics. So if you're looking for a pair of sustainably sourced trainers which are actually coincidentally very very cool these are amazing um i got to pick these out from arquette arquette um very kindly sent me a few things every month that i pick up from their site and uh these are what i got this month they're i think they're the all white pair so they have a very minimal look to them they've got a little bit of what i think is a suede type material at the back here which is in like a beige shade but they're really nice kind of lace up simple uh, white trainers. They kind of look like a pair of canvas trainers, but they're not. They have that super lightweight feel to them though, which I really enjoy. So uh, yeah, I'm really liking wearing them. This is the third time that I've worn them and they have yet to rub or hurt anything like that. I don't think there really is a wearing in period with them. They're just, they're just good from the get-go. So the accessories that I have on today, kind of similar to yesterday, I've got my daffing ring. Uh, this one is from Majuri. Earrings are same. I've got my Penelope Corridon chain on uh, and then this little star here. This is from Masoma and then I have an Astley Clark Agate necklace. I always forget the name of this stone. It's gorgeous like green colour but I think it is definitely Agate. Glasses here which I probably won't end up wearing because it doesn't look very sunny outside are from Finley & Co. They're really nice um, wayfair style which I've really been into recently. I've kind of been um, picking these up in favour 
of my Ray-Bans or instead of my Ray-Bans. I like this classic away fair shape and I think they're a little bit more minimal than say like a Ray-Ban which have a slightly thicker frame. So yeah, I've just um, tucked those on top of my little jumper here in, uh, in hope that I might be able to use them and what else? Oh yeah, I don't have a handbag today. This is what I usually do when I'm going out anywhere, really. I really love a tote bag, so we just have my Arquette tote here. I've just got my life in it right now. So let me get a little bit further back. That is today's uh, very cozy, easy, casual outfit for a bit of an admin day. Somewhere in a coffee shop, not too far. So uh, that's what I'm wearing today, guys, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I um, I thought I'd film my workout outfit this morning. Wow, it's gonna be a struggle to get words out. Let me just put that out right now. So I'm going to hot yoga this morning um, and I thought I'd show you what I've, what I've got on. I don't have a massive amount of active wear. It's probably something I need to invest a little bit more in considering that I am going um, and doing that kind of thing more of them. But um, yes, yeah, so today is a hot yoga class. I've got kind of quite a minimal um, outfit on. I just have this little white, I want to say it's a sports bra but it's not really because it's not a great deal of support although I find I don't really need it much in yoga but it's a little white crop top sports bra from Arquette and then I also have um, some black leggings on from Arquette. Now I usually wear the sweaty Betty running leggings when I'm running or doing something more vigorous like spin but these ones I like a lot because they are super super high waisted so they really come up Hi, I like these in yoga because you stretch over and you kind of move around a lot and uh, it just keeps everything there. Obviously I'm just putting a jacket on to walk outside because it's not very warm today. This is a little Adidas uh, track jacket which is really nice actually because it's quite lightweight. It's very um, thin but it just sort of keeps the wind at bay. And then I just have some trainers on. Yoga's done with bare feet but um, I've got my Nike. I think these are the Epic React black trainers. I like these because they're all black. There is no other detailing on them. I usually just grab any pair of trainers, whatever's closest to throw on uh, when I'm walking up to the yoga studio. So let's put these back on where they belong. That's much better. And that's my workout outfit this morning. Hey everyone. So it's Thursday today. I had to think about that. Um, and it's a little bit later than I've been filming these in the day, but honestly, I've just been working from home and I haven't really been wearing anything of note. But I have spontaneously decided to go and meet Joe in the city after work. So I thought I'd put some real clothes on and this is what I'm wearing today. So another day, another pair of beige jeans. Um, these are slightly different to the ones I was wearing earlier in the week. They are the Topshop straight leg jeans, my one and only is. Um, Honestly, I've been wearing the weekday ones a lot more than these just because I've been favouring that kind of oversized wide leg fit, but I still have a lot of time for these. They're really great, high-waisted, um, sort of straight, not skinny, but comfortable straight leg jeans. Uh, these are in the shade Ecru, which is a really nice off-white, and uh, yeah, I really love them a lot. They've got a nice ripped hem there and just a great all-round pair of jeans. So I have those on, um, and then I have a pretty much identical coloured t-shirt on today. This is from Arquette, and it's not the normal Arquette heavyweight t-shirt that I rave on and on about, but it's um, a crew neck in a thin in it, which is, is kind of nice. It's a really good piece for layering, because the heavyweight ones are very thick and heavyweight, but this one's a little bit more uh, light and nice to tuck into things. Um, so yeah, again, I think this one is in maybe ecru or cream or off-white, something like that. I will link everything I'm talking about down below, as with all the outfits I've mentioned this week. I just felt like being a bit casual today, so I've got this little knit on from Another Stories. And I picked this up a few weekends ago when I was out and it was freezing, and all I was wearing was a little um, shirt dress. So I picked this up to kind of have something to layer, and it's been one of my favourite, favourite things in my wardrobe recently. It's the perfect little throw-on oatmeal coloured crop knit and normally I'm not that into cardigans but I think the crop of this really does a lot for it. It just makes it a bit more wearable, it makes it really cute. I particularly like the way this looks um, over tailoring, so over shirts, especially nice oversized uh, white shirts and yeah I just threw it over this outfit today to see what it would be like and I, I quite like the way it looks and it's warm, that's what I wanted. So uh, yeah that is on. I really like the button details on this too, the big black thick buttons. The t-shirt actually is one of the pieces that I picked out from Arquette and 
so are these loafers. I've had a little bit of a time with these loafers because when they were sent to me, they were a little bit too big. If you're in the market for these loafers, I highly recommend going down a size. Um, so I had to find them in store and swap them over, but I eventually did and I am so happy because these are amazing. They're like the perfect soft slip-on loafer. I love this colour. I've never had any um, shoes in this like taupey shade before. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Very reminiscent of the old Celine loafers. Um, they've got the same like deep cut into them um, and these are also kind of cool because you can slip the side down or the, the back down and kind of wear them like slip on so I haven't actually done that yet but uh, if you wanted to they have that like slip on style to them which I think is quite cool it makes them a little bit more casual actually and then I just have my JW Anderson Pierce bag which I recently found out is discontinued now they don't make these anymore I don't think they even make the style um, let alone this colour, which is so sad because it is one of my all-time favourite bags. I've seen them pop up on Vestier quite a bit, so that might be the only place now that they are available, which is, is quite sad because I think it's an amazing bag. Um, so yeah, I have that on. And then some of the jewellery that I'm wearing today, I've double stacked, look at my injury from being clumsy when taking things out of the oven. I've double stacked my Daphne Oli rings, which... I really like the look of and then I actually just had this couriered to me today it came about an hour ago and I'm in love with it it's from Monica Binader and it's part of their new Ulta range which has all these really amazing like chain linked pieces they have um, a slightly smaller one this is the thicker chain um, and they do it in a necklace and a bracelet and you can actually attach charms to it which I think is quite a cool idea I love the sound this makes this <laughs> really gorgeous piece of jewellery and I'm not a massive bracelet wearer but I think I this makes me want to be um so thank you so much to Monica Benita for sending that over earrings are the same um as I think pretty much all week these Topshop hoops I'm also trying the no mascara thing today because one I couldn't be bothered but two um I kind of like the way it looks it's a bit more casual and I've got my Finley and Co glasses on this little star charm is from Masoma. There it is in better focus. Um, that's very small and cute. And I think that's it. Is that everything that I'm wearing today? Keeping it basic yet again, but I enjoy that a lot. Hi guys, it's Friday. So happy it's Friday. And I am going out for dinner tonight. So I thought I'd use this as an excuse to uh, get dressed up a little bit this week and uh, show you a kind of transitional outfit that is also more fancy um, and a little bit less every day. So this is what I'm wearing today. I actually threw this on pretty quickly because as always I am in a rush getting ready and I really like the way this has turned out. So it's not, it's not the coldest today. I feel like we're supposed to be getting a heat wave on the weekend, which is very exciting news. And when I go out in the evening, I tend to be a little bit less precious about uh, the amount of layers I'm wearing, depending on where I'm going and how I'm getting there mainly, but also because I know I'll be in and out of places, maybe jumping on buses and cabs and tubes and things, rather than walking around all day and getting cold. So my tip for transitional dressing in the evening is uh, not to worry too much. So I've gone for this dress, which um, has been sitting in my wardrobe for a little while, um, a little bit unused and unloved, and I'm not sure why, because it's amazing. I think slip dresses have their moment every season. I think obviously in summer they are the best thing to wear but also in autumn you can layer them up with different things. Winter, throw on a pair of boots. They just they seem to work all year round and I think they're super flattering. So this one's from All Saints and it actually came um, as a little strap spaghetti dress here but it had a t-shirt attached to it. It wasn't attached in that I had to cut it off. It just came with a little kind of white crop t-shirt. I think they do this dress every year. It has a particular name that I can't recall right now. And they do it in black as well as this really gorgeous like light pinky beige color, which I am obsessed with. Um, so I am wearing that today, but instead of the t-shirt that it comes with, I have thrown on another linen shirt. Now this is great because I can add an extra layer of warmth. Um, and the linen shirt, I think it, it keeps it dressy, but it just gives it a bit more of a, a summery, summer evening vibe. Like I've just thrown this over my shoulders after being at the beach all day in my summer dress. That's what I'd love to believe anyway. Uh, so this is a slightly different linen shirt to the one I was wearing earlier in the week. This is from m and who I think do amazing basics um, for things like shirts and layering pieces and jumpers. I like this one because it has the pockets either side here and it's a little bit shorter so it's better for tying up whereas the Uniqlo one can be a bit longer. Um, so yeah, that's the one I've gone for today. And then I've just rolled the sleeves up a little bit 
so it's giving me that extra layer but I think it's still quite a, a summery look um, and I think a great way as well to transition slip dresses into other seasons and then I've uh, picked up my little Ali Nina woven bag which is fast becoming my go-to evening bag I think this because it's such a neutral color it's um, like a woven canvas rope it just seems to go with everything I think it really flatters an outfit it's the perfect size it's a really nice little clutch bag grab bag so yeah that's the one I tend to go for when I'm um dressing up or going out in the evening um shoes I have on these incredible strappy shoes which are from Arquette now I'm kind of sad because I missed out on the lock sandals which are very very similar to this um and they kind of are always sold out in my size i don't think there's much hope of getting them back now but arquette do these which i think are a great dupe and they're also maybe a little bit more comfortable because instead of a a lace-up tie around the ankle which tends to frustrate me with sandals because they always seem to come undone on me i don't know if it's just the shape of my ankle these ones actually have like a little fastening at the side there which just keeps them on um, and they're also just super minimal too, which I love. So these I have in black. I think they do them in other colours. They have a really cool little square toe detail too. And they're just really simple, easy sandals to wear with anything really. And then jewellery wise, I've tied up my hair because I had these really big earrings on and I thought they looked better with my hair tied up. You won't be able to see it and I'm not going to take it out because it took me a while to get this right. But I have this big gold it's almost like a giant bobby pin, uh, which I got at Arquette, and it's so great for just wrapping your hair up in it and then pinning down. So I literally have nothing but this one little pin um, holding up my hair. You can't see it, I think you might be able to see it from the back maybe, um, but I think it's really cool. And I've been kind of into tying my hair up more with that uh, because it just makes it so easy. You don't have to fiddle around with lots of bobby pins. So yeah, I have my hair up today and um, these big earrings, which are actually from the Lucy Williams Roman collection from Asoma. I love these earrings and I waited a really long time to get them when they uh, when they came out because they were always the piece that was sold out. And unfortunately, I did mention this in my jewelry video um, when I did a big roundup of my jewelry collection, if you're interested. I might do a new one of those because it's definitely changed since I last filmed. It's been about a year now. But these are a little bit tarnished, unfortunately. I think I might have left them somewhere that I shouldn't have. But I don't know. I think that also kind of adds to the to the vibe a little bit. So I'm I'm not that mad about it. And then my necklaces are uh, from Carrie Elizabeth. Again, I have the little Aztec pendant. My Masoma star necklace, which I'm actually wearing a lot at the moment. I haven't really taken this off all week. And then this is um, a little chain that I always seem to wear with slip dresses or something that's a little bit more low cut. Because I think it just sort of breaks up the amount of chest there is on show and I really like the way it just disappears down into the dress. So this is the Orion Lariat chain, chain from HRH collection. So sparkly and beautiful and it's actually a really lightweight piece of jewellery. It doesn't feel like you're wearing it so uh, that one I always pull out when I'm wearing a dress like this. Rings I have on my Daphne Ollie ring and then my Majuri. Um, I think this is from a previous collection. I want to say it's with Alana, Alana Davison from Majuri. Um, but I've had it for a really long time. And then my bracelet is the um, Ulta Link bracelet from Monica Veneta, which I'm now slightly obsessed with. I think it's incredible. It's such a beautiful piece of jewelry. So that is my Friday night outfit. I am um, actually really quite into this. I like it a lot. I like this dress shirt combo. And yeah, I'm excited to go out and get some food. So thank you all so much for watching this uh, What I Wore in a Week video. I hope you enjoyed it, this transitional look at um, my outfits from the week. Like I said before, everything that I've mentioned will be linked down below um, and broken up into days in case you were interested. And yeah, that is everything from me. I hope you guys have had a great week and a great weekend. I think when this goes up, it will still be the bank holiday, so I hope you're outside enjoying that possible heat wave that we're supposed to have and eating all the food and drinking all the drink because that is my plan for the bank holiday. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.